you. Gina Trapani, thank you so much for joining us on TNT. Thanks so much for having me. It was a lot of fun. We it was will fun. Definitely have you back as much as you can tolerate it. <laughs> Absolutely. What are you doing I'm tomorrow? always here. If not yeah. here, I'm listening. <laughs> All right, excellent. Uh, let people know where else they can find you on the internet. Uh, you can find me at smarterware.org or just my name, keynotrapani.org. You can find me. I do lots of stuff. I go- Google me. You'll find me. She's a busy woman. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, and you can find anything about tech news today at our website, twit.tv slash TNT. You can email us, TNT at twit.tv, or give us a call. Dial us up, 260-TNT-SHOW, 260-TNT-SHOW. We'll see you tomorrow. You guys have the best music ever. Oh, I love our music. I know. Your music is great. I'm jealous. I want better music on Twig. It's good music. Well, it's um, Dan Dan Luters. It's Dan Luters who does uh, all of our music. Eric, you might know. Uh, yeah, just know. about. We've yeah. had uh, uh, Ashley Witt did a few at the beginning. Uh, some of the earlier stuff was done by other people, but uh, the most recent ones, yeah, he's done. He's done all those. Very yeah, talented. I think, yeah, I think he's working on a new uh, a new jingle for us. So. Perfect. Nice. There you go. Thank you so much. This was a lot of fun, you guys. Seriously, thanks, Gina. really fun. Yeah, to be here. thanks, Gina. It was a blast having you on. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. You guys have a great vibe. It were great back and forth. And uh, like I said, thanks for doing all the work for me. I do less prep for my show by listening to your show. <laughs> well, now you have access to our spreadsheet, so you can even like get the stories <laughs> without listening. There you go. <laughs> so we rip Gina off, and then she right. doesn't have to research yeah, I feel, anything. I feel that like we're ripping there's a off. little bit of pay. Like I feel a little bit of balance coming to the force it's here. Good right? karma, baby, karma. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> thanks, you guys. Have a great thanks, day. Thanks, Gina. Bye. Bye. All right, Debian, Debian, whatever. You know what? Debian. That every time I say Debian, I oh, get someone say Debian. saying Debian. Every time I say Debian, someone says it's Debian. I didn't notice you saying Debian, but I would. I've always thought it was Debian. It. I but think I also, Debian has the larger camp, but I, there's always somebody on the other side. Yeah, it's um, it's uh, details or details. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It it's actually just, is kind of like that, where details is the more popular, but details is. The, God, it's the anchors always say details because I think it makes you sound smarter or something. What's our title? What's our title? Hmm. Um, While we think about that, would you guys like to hear the full TNT theme song as composed by the amazing Dan Luters? Sure. I don't think the audience has actually heard the full intact song. Set your capture. Is it a a twenty-minute jam session? No, it's it's a one minute. (laughs) They introduce all the soloists. (laughs) It's a great tune. I love. He's got the record scratches and the little bluesy guitar riff. It's great. Yeah, you usually don't hear this part. No, you don't. Ooh, ooh. Here's where we usually fade it up towards the end. It's, it's great. I never noticed that before. That is a really it's a it's hopeful. It's, it's got it's inspiration. So yeah. <laughs> 
I, he sent me about three or four alternatives, mm-hmm. uh, and I, you know this was the last one in the list. And I remember listening like, oh, that one's kind of good. You know, okay, like, oh, that one's good. And then I heard this one. I was like, that's it. Mm-hmm. Immediately. I was like, I, right. I like that one. I made one little, I asked him to do one little tweak off the top to kind of shorten up the intro part of it, make mm-hmm. it work better as a, like an introductory theme, but that uh-huh. was it. And, and we, were, we were golden. Good stuff, Dan Luters. Beautiful. And you know what the hilarious thing is? I got it. I'm still working at CNET. Uh, and I say, you know, like, hey, I got my new theme music. Do you want to hear it? And they're like, yeah. Do you want to hear the new Buzz Out Loud theme? Because we did the remix. I'm like, okay. So I go over and I listen to it. And I was like, oh, that's really good. Who did that? And uh, Jason's like, oh, that was sent in by a guy named Dan Luters. <laughs> I'm like, wait, so you got it for free. <laughs> <laughs> he's busy. He is. He's good, too. He is the audio podcasting man. So what is so um, he actually did an iPad show theme? Oh, cool! Um, and I really like it. It's not all like this. It's totally different, which is which goes to show you if somebody's got range. Flash bad for batteries in porn. <laughs> I need a title. Yes. Flashing without flash. <laughs> Solar encrypted porn. That's just too much. Trying to pack too much in there. Flash free nudity. Doesn't make any sense, but I love it. Porn runs down your batteries. My face is up here. Connect. (laughs) 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 Oh Oh, man! Icing versus bros. (laughs) The icing the bro. (laughs) The icing your the bros defense. I don't even remember what that was about anymore. It was the uh, well, how, was, how the, did I get was it in the patent thing? Uh, yes, it was because we were talking about defensive patents. Yeah. I don't know which ones you guys like. I, don't know. I love the my faces up here connect. My faces up here. <laughs> Does that make sense? It doesn't make any sense in well, wait, relation is, to the show. It's just hilarious. Well, no, I think right. it was a reference to uh, uh, Connect being able to tell if you were uh, male Tom or female. Tom said, uh, Connect can tell if you're a guy or a yeah. girl. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> but, how, how's that? <laughs> in what obvious way would it know that? <laughs> Bone structure. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's funny. My face is up here, comma, Connect. Yeah. Oops, I forgot that. Sounds good to me. All right. Are you going to go out to a nice fancy meal tonight? Uh, actually, no. I'm just going to go to the pub and have some some yeah. beers. Yeah, kind of what I like to do. Yeah. Well, I think you should do whatever you want to do on your book. Exactly. That's what they say. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Yeah, connect my facial login. Okay, let's see. Ready? Let's see if I can pull this one off. Coming up on Tech News Today, we explore the legal principle of the icing the bros defense. We find out why Flash is bad for your porn, and we determine why Google... uh, No, not determine why. Here we go. Coming up on Tech News Today, we explore the legal principle of the icing the bros defense. We uh, look at why Flash is bad for your battery. Uh, Bad for... That's not funny. (laughs) Coming up on Tech News Today, we explore the legal principle of the icing the bros defense, find out why Flash is bad for porn, has to do with batteries, and how Google is protecting you from ligers. All that and more coming up. Enjoy. (sighs) Thank God Liger was at the end of that. I would never (laughs) would have made it. (laughs) Sorry about all the nose breathing guys, but drop the word Liger and I'm going to... (laughs) <laughs> snot's gonna come out. It's just the way it goes. <laughs>
That's just the way it goes. Liger uppercut. All right. Yeah. Who so, doesn't like a liger? Doesn't. Best animal. I have been, uh, if anyone from Apple in a position to influence is listening right now, I've said this before, next version of OS ten, OS ten liger. <laughs> That's funny. Well, what, what else would it be? Well, it, w- it would have been perfect for Snow Leopard, right? Because they did Tiger, and then they leopard. did Leopard. Then <laughs> Liger. It had to be, but no, they went Snow Leopard. So I'm thinking, oh, well, that's just kind of, it's, a, it's an incremental. Sure. So the next one should be Liger. If it's not Liger, have we talked about what it actually might be? No, no. I mean, are they going to keep doing big cats? Because after, you know, Puma? Tigers and... OS 10 house cat. OS Manx. American Tabby. <laughs> That's what iOS 4. <laughs> iOS 4 should start, you know, the, the iOS should start being iOS Tabby. iOS Siamese. Scottish Fold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cougar would be good. Coug- it's, you know, cougar would oh, be good. OS 10 starting to get middle age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they did. Interested Puma. in the young kids. Yeah. Hyena. OS 10 Hyena. Now, yeah, no. Simba. I mean, I'd love for them to keep the cat theme. Yeah. Big cat fan and all, but it does get a little silly. I mean, if you've taken up all the big cats, then you're going back yeah. to like, you know. And when do Bobcat. we just go OS 11? OS 11 Bobcat. You know? Yeah. Well, maybe. I and mean, then we could start on wolves or something. <laughs> Tree frog. Yeah. Toad. Sloths. <laughs> OS 11 Three Toad. Ah, uh, Thundercats would be a good one, I bookery. Definitely. But there's only like four of them. No, just as a collective. OS 10 Thundercats. You just have all of them. Yeah. Okay. Mom, did you like the show? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. My mom is sitting off camera enjoying the show. She rating. actually... She's rating. She's auditing. I'm going to out her. She read Girl with a Dragon Tattoo through pretty much the entire show. <laughs> so... Not that she doesn't love what we do here, book. but it's a good book. I mean, what, how are you going to compete with proof. that? I don't know. I can't. Yeah. It's hard. I've written a novel. Novel people. <sighs> I get to go to the Giants-Dodgers game tonight. Oh, hey. that's exciting. Good game. Good game to see. I hope Giants-Dodgers so. Giants-Dodgers are always exciting. Always fun. Yeah. Well, it's fun to be a more obnoxious fan than usual when the Dodgers come to town. Right. That you I have like. that excuse. Right. Some, I, I always like to go. Unlike when they're playing, like, you know, the Rockies, and you get really obnoxious, and people are kind of looking at you strange. Like, you don't stand oh, out as much. Jerk. What do you have to go against Colorado? <laughs> it's the Dodgers. Everyone's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I, I, uh, I, I always like going to the game, but I particularly like going to a Dodger game. So. It's go, like going to go um, Cardinals Cubs or uh, Yankees Red Sox. Uh, is a Cardinals Cubs a big rivalry? Yeah, yeah. And the Cardinals always win, then, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> See, I didn't realize that. That's what annoys me about Cubs fans is they actually they they make a virtue out of losing. It's like, what's wrong with you people? They what? don't have any other and choice, you know, here, Tom. Well, no. See, that's the thing. If if the card and if you're born near St. Louis or in St. Louis, you don't have another choice. You are a Cardinals fan, but. If you grow up in Chicago, you can choose to be a White Sox fan. That's not what Chicagoans... Eric's uh, very excited because the air conditioner game. Air conditioner! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Less sweating tomorrow, Ah, uh, very exciting. No, I, as, as Chicago natives have told me, mm-hmm. you are one or the other, and it has not everything to do with geographic location, but it there has There is a historical to do with... tradition of Southsiders being Sox fans and Northsiders right. being the other crappy right. team, but, yes. uh, but you, can, you can change. But let's say you're a Giants fan and people go, well, Oakland, same idea, right? Totally not at all in my world. I, I know you guys are A's fans, yeah, and I don't want to. It's your birthday, so I'm not going to rip thing you isn't, one today. Isn't as, but. isn't as divisive though. Well, there's a lot of people in this area that are both. Ew. Uh, What's it's their n- problem. It's not. It's not like in New York where right. Mets Yankees pick a side. 
I think Rare people War. who are fans of the A's and the Giants all the same aren't really baseball fans. Yeah, that's probably true. That's kind of the way I see it. And I'm an A's fan in part because, also, well, my wife is an A's fan, but also because it's easier for me to be an A's fan and a Cardinals fan because I'm a Cardinals fan first. Mm-hmm. And it's hard. Well, the Cardinals play the Giants. They're in the same league. Right. You know, I don't have a problem with the Giants, but it's easier to be an American League fan if you're going to have a second team. Sure. Like Fair, yeah. if you're a Giants fan. And, and let's am. say you move to L.A. Ugh. You're not going to be a Dodgers fan. No. So you probably end up supporting the Angels. No. More often than not. No, Tom. Because Giants Bad, and Angels fu- the fuzziest have no of all logic. history at all. The only well, I There's did n- live in L.A. And the only time I went oh, to Dodger right, Stadium right. was when they were playing the Giants to root yeah. obnoxiously against the Dodgers. You're going to hate both teams if you live in L.A. I went, to, um, I went to the Angels. I wanted to see the stadium. Um, I went to one game. I don't remember who they played. Uh Maybe the Cubs. And it, I don't know. It was okay. Yeah. I, I, I don't hate the Angels, but I'm not an Angels fan. I guess a real thing would be if you lived in New York. Well, but the Yankees are so loaded with Yankees. It's hard. Chicago, I guess, for you. Like, it might be easier to be supporting the White Sox than the Cubs. No, not that I got to go really Wrigley care. Field, though. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but then the Giants are going to come play. And then who? Well, then what are you going to do? Giants! Yeah. You know. So you're going to support the Cubs against the Giants? No. But you're going to support the White Sox almost all the time. That's not. That's too much work. And then you marry a White Sox fan. I am a monogamist. <laughs> I'm a sports monogamist. I see. Okay? I see. I'm, I'm, see, I'm beginning to, to catch hold of this. <laughs> right? <laughs> Let me clarify. I am a sports monogamist. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some of my best friends are Cubs fans. So, you know, the fact that I am insulting them just has to do with personality defects in my friends. But, sure. Yeah. Like, we can't all be perfect. No, exactly. Some of us can. Most of you can't. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right. Uh, if there's anyone left in the chat room from Chicago that I haven't offended, uh, thanks for hanging around. I love Chicago. Yeah, I like. I actually love Chicago. I too. love it's a fun Chicago. Town. It's a great town. There. I would. I would live there if. Um, if the if the right opportunity arose, I'd be yeah. stoked, and I'd probably complain bitterly for four months out of the year. I would live there if they do something about the winter. Yeah, they you just know, make it go away. I've been waiting for the city to just move, take some action. The entire operation yeah. to Chicago. Right, nothing's stopping us except the winter. Because my wife's only been well, she got actually got to go there in December, which isn't at quite as bad as say February. But she got a little taste of it because she's always been there. And like, oh, I love Chicago. I'm like, yeah, because we're always here in like August or September. Yeah, you where know? it's you just run around in tank tops all yeah. night. It's like uh, it's, she went there in December and it was freezing rain and she got a little taste of like I'm like, this isn't even the bad month yet. So, yeah, it's uh, it, it's it's still it's it's a nice town. Good food. People who like eating food. Mm-hmm. Those are the kind of cities I like. Great architecture. Yes. Downtown of Chicago. Beautiful. Killer. People, a lot of people don't realize that. It's killer for architecture. Yeah. Beautiful buildings. It's it just it's world class. And the eating and the food. Did you mention the food? Did I? The food's good I don't know too. if I did. Yeah. People who like to eat. Sausage, pizza. Yeah, not really. No? I don't eat sausage. See, and you still love the food. That's how broad <laughs> their food choice is. That's right. I don't know how their Mexican food is. Um, if there's a big it's much, Mexican food. It's much food. different. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's kind of, well, you know, it's more similar to San Francisco than, say, like a Texas or a Southwestern. They've got the big burritos and stuff like that. There's, some, there's like. some good good Mexican place. Cicero was my favorite burrito shop uh, when I lived around there. Cicero. And Cicero is a it. suburb, and they had, they, had a, uh, they had a burrito shop right off the highway. Oh, Fantastic. Cicero. I think I've been through there. Yeah. Yeah, I... Uh, Mexican food is, I think that's actually a, a pretty good indicator if I could live in a city or not. Yeah. Do they have good Mexican food? Mm, Chicago has good Mexican food, but okay. it's not plentiful and it's not awesome. Like yeah. I, I don't even think San Francisco has the best Mexican food. It has great Mexican food. I put it Do above you Chicago. LA? Or? I prefer Tex Mex. I prefer New Mexico, Southwestern, yeah. Texas. They're hard to compare. Yeah, they're, it's they're, diff- it is they're different. They're just different. Yeah, yeah. I, I like, I like, I like some of it. I say great. I, I say I prefer, great about I, San Francisco. I'm not dissing San Francisco Mexican food at all. No, no. I you're saying there are other had, styles like, of Mexican that you top for me is Austin, El Paso, Las yeah. Cruces, New Mexico. That right. that those yeah. kind of places. Yeah, I like my burritos. 
Give me a mission burrito. See, yeah, I for will, for a big bur- I will not burrito as, long as big as, as your head, it. this is the place. This is the place. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, the, thanks for watching Munchcast. Uh, Tom Merritt filling in for Cammy Blackstone. <laughs> We're talking about food. Yeah. Isn't that what the show is? Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, well, I'm... I'm I'm hungry. I'm jumping, yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry now. Seriously. I mean, I can't ignore it any longer. I'm ready. I'm going to eat some garlic fries at the ballpark. It's perfect. All right. Well, uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, new thanks Tech all. News today, tomorrow. And just a little programming notes before we go. Uh a week from tomorrow, the first episode of Forecast on the Twit Network uh, will happen. On we'll, we'll have uh, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young as our guests. So at, Tuesdays at what time? So it'll happen next Tuesday at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and the only reason we're doing it on Tuesday is because uh, of the Monday holiday. So after that, Forecast will be Mondays oh. at 4 p.m. Eastern, or 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. But you want to get it out, so you said, screw it, we'll do it on Tuesday. Well, because we're skipping a forecast episode this week. Oh. Because uh, uh-huh. we had just finished recording a set of three, uh-huh. uh, and then it was like, well, I don't want to have to record an, uh, another one, and then go to, so, so we're, we're skipping, right. skipping Monday, forecast this week. Ma- Monday is, it's the 5th. Correct. But it's still a holiday because we're missing the Because the 4th is on Sunday. That's nice. Yeah, I don't exactly. know that that's a, I've always had that situation at I've at had that at, I had that at CNET. Really? Uh, but yeah, but I think there were some if jobs. If it's not in the middle of the yeah, week, then they throw they you a bone. Credit it. They might put it on Friday. They might put it on Monday. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Well, so we're not going to do TNT on Monday then. So no TNT next Monday, right? Are we going to? Um, and Forecast, if you don't know, is a show where uh, me and Scott Johnson host two guests and we predict the future. And uh, if you'd like to see past episodes, Leo has done an episode. Yes. Uh, we've had... I don't want to know about Leo's future. Jonathan Colton has done an episode, uh, along with MC Front a lot. Leo was on with Jim Lauderback. Mm-hmm. We always have two people on. Yeah. Uh, so forecastpodcast.com if you want to look at the old ones. And then we start on the Twit Network next week. And we're going to be having different people on every week. Uh, what we'd been doing in the audio version was we'd record one, and then we'd split it into three parts and put it out over three weeks. And that mm-hmm. allowed us to go weekly. But some people who've been wa- wa- listening since the beginning didn't like that. They're okay. like, I don't like it being spread out. Well, it's right. not going to be spread out anymore. Uh, and then uh, Frame Rate with Brian Brushwood is an experimental show that we're kind of trying out. I think we're going to do another one of those tomorrow at 4 Fun. Pacific. Uh, and then we'll keep doing them on Tuesdays as we sort of develop it and see how it goes. Good. Yeah. How do you guys feel about it? We're liking it. We're yeah. loving it. Uh, so it's one of those I things I mean, you get like, to talk about TV and movies. Yeah, exactly. What's not to like? And so I think this will be, either this week or next week, will be kind of our first effort to really prepare. We've just sort of been trying out the concept, like, mm-hmm. do you guys like this? Enough people like the concept that we're yeah. going to like, okay, this is how we'd actually really stack a show. Yeah. And try try it for real. Uh, and so then we need the people people to really jump in and go like, oh, more of this, less of that. You know, start to get nitpicky. So, usually when we're saying like, "Don't criticize us," we have fragile egos because we're we're talent. That that doesn't apply in the in the beta sense here. Go come at us with Tear everything us you down. got. Yeah, we need it. Yeah, exactly. Or else we're gonna create this is an your ego chance. show. Yes, and no one will like <laughs> this week in huge <laughs> egos. Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm all for uh, constructive criticism. If it's yes, constructive, exactly. constructive, I want it. Absolutely. Even if it's not great, just don't be a jerk about it. Exactly. Oh, yeah. All right. So okay. there you go. All right. Yeah. That was all the programming notes. Thanks, everybody. See you guys.